What's up, people, and welcome to a follow-up video to my gatekeeping video. Since people decided to hop in there and say, oh, it doesn't happen, or oh, you never see this, or oh, this isn't a thing, quit the gaslighting. Because I only talk about stuff that I see. Now, I'm going to preface this by saying that the internet is not a real place, right? You can sit there on a keyboard and talk all the shit you want, and nobody's going to bother you. But... When you see bad actors on both sides, because they do exist, you should probably say something, right? So, for instance, if I see somebody that's spouting a bunch of uh, hardcore right-wing Nazi, neo-Nazi rhetoric, I'm going to say something. If I see somebody just completely disparaging a race and group of people, I'm going to say something. If I see them talking trash about an entire group, I'm going to say something. Now, if they're talking trash about an entire group, there are probably some merits to what they're saying, but you probably shouldn't label every single person in that group, whatever it is that you're labeling. But that's besides the point. So that's just my perspective. And obviously I do it more on the left because the things I see on the left are the things that people say, oh, well, this doesn't happen. Well, yeah, it does. So, I talk about it. Now, most people, again, saying that this doesn't happen, or one of the main themes is, oh, well, I've never seen it. Well, I have. I've seen it happen on Facebook. I've seen it happen on Twitter. I've seen it happen on YouTube. It happens. Plain and simple. So, this time, I'm going to provide some examples. And now... Now we'll see what you guys say in the comments. So, for starters here, let's go to this one. The people who want to debate the woke in the hobby are literally people who lie about other hobbyists infiltrating to destroy. Don't debate them. They have already told you truth is not on the table. Uh, that's a lie. Here's the secret. Their bad faith aside, there's also just no need to. Okay, so in other words, let me say whatever the fuck I want and you can't say anything. No, they, here we go. No one needs their permission. They can't actually gatekeep. Their anti-inclusivity position is in opposition to GW's official stance, and their reliance on fictions outs them as clowns already. What? First of all, nobody is saying that you can't be inclusive in Warhammer. Nobody. Literally nobody. Zero. In fact, all these people, in fact, the people that this person is talking about in particular, gay Lesbians, trans, femboys, straight, black, white, brown, Asian. It's all over the fucking board. But because they, you know, those people, that group doesn't align with their politics, then all of a sudden you don't have to listen to them. Which is what it boils down to. Politics. It has nothing to do with this whole inclusivity bullshit that they keep spouting it has to do with politics do your politics align with mine and the answer is no therefore you're the bad guy let's continue all they have is posturing and harassment uh, they don't posture they don't harass every time these people say something stupid all they do is call them out on it like i do and you are not going to make them stop either of those things by indulging their bad faith debate they don't want to talk because they're no, they know they're going to lose. They have nothing to stand on. Which is why we talk. Which is why I do the hobby talk with a bunch of people. In fact, one of those guys that I talked with would consider himself a progressive. But guess what? We were capable of having a conversation. Right? These reactionaries, these I'd pull brained people that just sit on the internet all day spouting shit like this are incapable of having a conversation. And you're right, they prob you never run into them outside of the internet. A, because they probably don't go outside. And B, because they know that if you try the same tactics in reality, somebody's going to shut your ass down. Plain and simple. Just like if somebody were to walk into a games workshop store and be like, you know what, I want female space marines and all you fuckers can get out. I guarantee you all the people in that store are probably going to be like, no, you can get out. Just like if somebody walked in dressed in full fascist regalia, all those people would look at them and be like, get the fuck out. So it goes both ways, right? You can't just have it one way and disregard the other. 
You can't. Which is why my interpretation of the Warhammer is for everyone statement is that. Most people that go into a hobby store are there because they love the hobby or they want to get into the hobby. The point is not to exclude people, right? Moving on. This is a perfect example of what the super bad, scary, bigoted, racist gatekeepers are talking about. Long-running franchises have a problem. Their initial works, their foundations, are oft mired in things we know to be, well, just awful. Racism, sexism, homophobia, subtle or overt, that was acceptable at the time, is now an anchor at risk of dragging them down. Those that don't radically deal with this past tend to track the worst that fandoms offer. Not just those indifferent to these legacy elements, but those who wear that hate as a badge of pride. DMD has made bold strides. GW is doing so, but slower, and it shows in the fan base. No, nobody takes you people fucking seriously. For the reasons that I've already stated. You want GW to take you seriously. You want GW to enforce your ideal, you know, your ideological standpoints. GW is a multi-million dollar company. They're not going to fucking listen to some random person on the internet. They're not even going to listen to me. Why should they? They don't have to. And I read something somewhere that GW is just a bunch of older white guys that go drinking together and then they go, oh, this is cool. Let's do that. So yeah, they're not going to fucking listen to you. At all. Again, why should they? They don't have to. D&D is a wreck at this point. I've in fact, the D&D fandom, from everything that I've seen, is split in half of the people that won't touch any of the new shit, and then the very vocal minority that are all in on the new the new stuff, from what I understand. And that's talking to multiple people that are involved in D&D. I'm not, so I can't really speak any truth to that on my end. I'm just going off of secondhand stories. But this is just one example, right? Now, let's say you add another one. And another one, and another one, and another one. And then it compounds. Then you have 10 more. Then you have 20 more. Then you have 100 more. And in the case of Bits Hammer and Cerberus XT, then you have thousands more of the same people saying the same stuff in different words that all boils down to we want this thing. We don't want you in this thing because of what you think what you say, or what you believe. And tell me that's not a problem. Because the people that align with me, are there some people that are probably bad people? Yeah. Just like on this side, that there's probably some people that are bad people doing things for the wrong reasons. They're not doing it because they love the hobby. As I said last time, people were like, oh, well, you have to love the hobby. Why else would you be there? They're doing it because other people that they know love this thing. They've seen the people they don't like and they want them out. And it happens every single day, every single week, every single month for the last several years. So sitting there and going, well, this doesn't happen. is bullshit. And kindly, you can go fuck yourself because that's what I was telling people in the comments. Again, I wouldn't be talking about it if it doesn't happen. Now, whether you choose to put the blinders on and be like, nope, not going to look at this thing, it's not happening, or because you happen to align with that side and you don't want to call out bad actors on your side, that's your problem, not mine. I'm going to keep making videos on whatever the fuck I want to make them about. And this is just one example. Now, normally, I wouldn't even bother doing this because I'm not an asshole that likes to just shit all over people. But they have no problem doing it. Therefore, I figure this one time it's probably going to be acceptable. Let's continue here. This is a new account that somebody just made called Chud Hammer Antisemitism. This account documents antisemitism amongst reactionary Warhammer fans. I've never met a reactionary Warhammer fan. I've met level-headed normal people outside of the internet. I wouldn't even call myself, I, I'm not even fucking close to a reactionary. I'm, I'm all over the place in my political beliefs. So, again, this is just a tactic to smear people for whatever reason. We will attempt to document examples of anti-Semitism and neo-Nazi imagery amongst Chudhammer. Tag us when you find it. 
And of course, they've locked the comments. I have a funny feeling I know who's running this account, but it is what it is. Uh, and it's basically the sole purpose of tagging different accounts and slandering them. Some of this stuff is either complete and outright bullshit, or it's just edgy jokes, right? You people remember those, right? Apparently, those aren't acceptable anymore, but who cares? Like I said, I say whatever the fuck I want. Probably not going to say it on YouTube because, you know, you get demonetized, but I don't hate anybody. None of the, I don't, I'm pretty sure none of the people that this account is tagging hate people. They just make jokes. And Bohemond, ironically, oh man, they hate this guy. They hate him. They absolutely hate him. Why? Because he's gay. They consider him the chief gatekeeper. And because he, being a gay man, doesn't align with their politics. You get it now? Does it kind of make sense? Just a little bit? Same thing with this account over here. Let's go look at this one. Let's see. I've never even heard of this person. Never heard of that person. Never heard of that person. And of course, they're tagging the official Warhammer account. Why? Cancel culture tactics. And when I say cancel culture, that goes for both sides. Basically, when you're trying to shame somebody or shame a company, which I've already talked about this with Joy Toy, into doing something that you want. Hey, this is a bad person. You probably shouldn't follow them. You shouldn't let them anywhere near a store. You shouldn't let them talk to anybody. Fuck off. Don't do that. Another account never heard of. Never heard of. Never heard of. Never heard of. Never heard of that person. Here's, okay. K mother of beer. Bears. Beers. Which would be actually a lot funnier. These examples look like you're holding a conversation with somebody. Now, do I know what the stance is or what the official stance is on news? I highly doubt this person is an anti-Semite. It's a response to what somebody is already talking about. But they're going to frame that as, oh, this person's an anti-Semitic bigot. When in reality, the reason they don't like this account is because it's a woman who does not align with their politics. See where I'm going with this? Are we there yet? It's scummy tactics, right? And they do it all the time. They do it all the time. There's... No matter how much you want to sit there and say, this thing doesn't happen, you don't have to worry about it, why do you even bother? It's because if you don't talk about it, you don't tell people about it, or if people aren't seeing it, they're going to be saying the exact same thing that it doesn't happen when it fucking does. Okay? Now, if you're a semi-decent person, right? You call out shitty people regardless of how they align, regardless of how they identify, regardless of what their skin color is. Unless you're on a certain left-hand side where, no, you can't do that because in you know, technically that's a protected class and we can't talk about them because they're marginalized, blah, blah, blah. Who gives a shit? You can still be a complete and total shit stain and be part of a marginalized group. Okay, plain and simple. Just like you can call a whole bunch of hardcore right wing racists, shitty people. They exist everywhere in all walks of life. Therefore, call them out. Unless you're too terminally online brain rotted by politics and ide you know, ideology, and then you don't want to say anything. Or... You already align that way. It's what you believe in. So you don't have a reason to. But don't be surprised when people like me and other people call you a fucking shit stain. And then you can't cry racism and bigotry and everything else. Every other buzzword that you can think of because you're a shitty human being. And that's what nine times out of ten, a lot of these accounts that they call all those buzzwords are doing just that. They're reacting to something stupid or they're reacting to something that is just completely and totally out there that you're like, what the fuck are you doing? Like I said, there's more. I can provide 
examples all day long. But I'm not going to do that. This is just, you know, one example of many. So there you have it. I'm going to step off, off my, soap, my soapbox now, now that you people have seen one example. Now you can go find the rest of them for yourself and tell me it's not happening. You can go on Facebook and do it. You can go on Twitter and do it. You can go on YouTube and do it. You can go on any social media platform and you're going to find it. I promise it. I promise it. In fact, on some of the live streams, we've even talked about it. So, uh, that was rough. You know, it pisses me off that I have to sit here and read comments of people gaslighting the fuck out of me. And I'm just like, all right, here we go. You win. I'm going to have to do a video showing examples because nobody's going to believe me as long as these people keep screeching. So there you have it. Thanks for watching, everybody. And don't be like this. I don't care what side you're on. I don't care if you're left, right, or middle. Just don't be like that. Just be a normal fucking person, please.